<laughs> this is Ashley. She can now no longer hear us. <laughs> Hi, Ashley. Hi, Craig. Uh, uh. <laughs> Tim hat. You see, why, the reason why Ashley came up to say hi was that we were talking just before the show. I always like to come out and meet the audience before the show, walk around. You know, we usually go over to the farmer's market, have a snack together, get to know each other. Anyway, I saw that, um, you know, Ashley had some tattoos. And I said, oh, I've just got a new tattoo. And she was like, oh, you don't have a tattoo, Grandpa. I'm like, oh, no. And I'm like, yeah, I do. I, you know, because uh, if you've watched the show for any length of time, first of all, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, about three, three or four years ago, uh, three years ago, my, my father died. And so I got a tattoo to remember him by. Uh, he hated tattoos, so I thought, well, that'll be a nice... <laughs> be a nice Celtic paradox, you know, <laughs> tattoo for a guy who hated tattoos. And, and so, uh, tragically, about a year ago, a little less than a year ago, my mother died. And, and so it was all terribly sad. And, and, and then, you know, about a month ago, maybe, I started to become aware of a kind of voice saying, that's a lovely tattoo you got for your father. <laughs> and I'm like... <laughs> and so I did this, I'm like... And then... But I still heard it, and I thought, oh, no, I have to get a tattoo. Of course I have to get a tattoo for my mother, too. So I, I, it's just finished. It's very sore. Um, it's quite sore getting tattoos, isn't it, Ashley? You bet it is, mister. Uh, <laughs> plus, when you're in a tattoo parlour, this is what they don't tell you. you. You're not allowed to whine. They're really against it. <laughs> so the guy that's giving you the tattoo, he's like, the guy, Doug, that gave me this tattoo, very good tattoo. There's a lot of Celtic, you know, business going on, and he's in there. And, you know, Doug's family are uh, Irish Catholics, and he was tattooing me, and my family are Scottish Protestants, and it was hurting quite a lot. <laughs> and I said... <laughs> I said, Doug, have I, have I said something that annoyed you during this tattooing process? And he went, take that, you Scottish Protestant back. <laughs> but, anyway, the upshot of it is Doug and I are getting along famously. The tattoo's finished. And I, I knew that, because the tattoo, it must be for my mother, this one, because the tattoo for my father, you know, it was, you know, went on in about an hour. It was on time, pretty easy. It was like, ah, and then it's done. This one hurt like a... <laughs> hurt like a... Like... Mm. <laughs> but it's done. And now I've got two tattoos. And then I'm thinking, I had this superstition that you can't have two tattoos. You have to have an odd number of tattoos. Oh, Ashley just went like this. <laughs> so tomorrow, I'm going to get a third tattoo. Yeah! I know we're way over time. I don't give a rat's ass. Because here's, here's the real truth of it and why I love having the tattoos. Because sometimes, you know, when I'm getting ready for the show and I'm putting on my little white shirt, my little tie, my little jacket, they come down and go, hey, cheeky monkeys, everybody. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Wavy the waving crocodile, all that. When I'm getting ready to do all that, and I might catch a glimpse of myself in the mirror and I see that I'm tattooed. And then I go, oh, I remember. I'm not their bitch. <laughs>
long enough. All right, that's enough. Quietly, please. Quietly. I know. I, too, am also excited by the antics of the worn-up comedian. <laughs> the way he throws that free candy around, it's... You would have been applauding now for one minute and 27 seconds. Please, let me assure you, nothing will happen tonight or has ever happened in the history of this show that has warranted one minute and 27 seconds of applause. And tonight will be no different, for it is a great day for America, everyone. Yeah. No, you know what? You know why? Because, because the Grey's Anatomy premiere was on earlier tonight. <gasps> I watched it because we were live, you know. I haven't watched it yet. I've got it on my Twitter. <laughs> I think what happened, though, apparently what happened is that a sexy doctor slept with another sexy doctor, and that hurt the feelings of another sexy doctor who's sensitive. <laughs> to do, actually, in all seriousness, I have to take a moment to thank the police officer I met last night. I got pulled over on my way home from here, and then I get stopped by a cop. No, I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, I'm sorry. I, uh... No, I was doing something naughty in the car. One of my hands was, let's just say it was where it shouldn't be, all right? It was on a cell phone. I wasn't, I wasn't holding it like that. That was to illustrate what a phone looks like. You can't hold a phone like that. That's, that's more for surfing, really. <laughs> and I was holding a cell phone, and uh, I, it's illegal in LA. You should have given me a huge fine. It's a $450 ticket. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, I got your attention, didn't it? But the officer let me off with a warning. She said, I've seen your show. You're not that good. So... <laughs> And I know you work for CBS, and you clearly can't afford a four hundred and fifty dollars ticket. <laughs> but it was very nice. Not only was the officer courteous and respectful, but she was a fine-looking woman. I, w I don't want to say her name, because I don't know if she gets into trouble for letting me off with a ticket, but she let me off. But I'd just like to call her Officer Delicious. <laughs> Do you have a graphic for Officer Delicious? Well, there you go. Yeah, that was, yeah. Thank you, Officer Delicious. Yeah, lucky she didn't check the trunk for smack. <laughs> Said too much. Last night on the show, we had... The reason I was on the phone, because I was very excited, we had Psychic Night. On, uh, and it, it took America by storm. Everybody was so excited. <laughs> <laughs> they applauded for one minute, 27 seconds. <laughs> We thought we were going to have Psychic Night 2, The Legend of Curly's Gold. Because <laughs> on last night's show, I had an imaginary bisexual leprechaun walking around. <laughs> it was awesome! Wasn't it awesome? And I thought it was a bisexual leprechaun, and, I was, and then it, I found out later it wasn't. It was just, in fact, a metronome. <laughs> Psychic night tonight. I know what you're thinking. Why are you still on TV? Well, I'll tell you. Why. <laughs> because I, no, it's psychic. <laughs> Larry King's been doing this for 50 years, and he sucks as well. <laughs> you don't need to be good. You don't need to be good. So anyway, so it's the season premiere of The Mentalist. It's on earlier tonight on CBS. That's why I didn't watch Grey's Anatomy because I was watching. The Mentalist. <laughs> the, the, the Mentalist, uh, what's that show about, I hear you uh, mentally thinking? Well, the, the, the Mentalist is a detective whose powers of observation are so great that people think he's psychic. Don't confuse it with the show Psych, which is on another network. That's about a cop whose powers of observation are so great that people think he's psychic. <laughs> like the mentalist at all the psych show and the mentalist show they're as different as wife swap and trading spouses you're they're completely different 
Now, The Mentalist is a fantastic show, though. It really is. I've never seen it. <laughs> anyway, but I, no, it's the guy. The Mentalist is so observant, he can tell what people are thinking. He's like a woman in a man's body. <laughs> I know how he feels. <laughs> it's such a mess. Anyway, the mentalist... The mentalist... <laughs> you don't have to be good, clearly. The mentalist is played by Simon Baker, who's Australian and gorgeous. Do we have a picture of Simon Baker? There he is now. Look at that. Come on, yeah. That's right. I can, I can read his mind. He's thinking, must get blonde highlights. <laughs> Maybe even for the hair on my head. Now, I don't... Oh, that's right. Blame me. Blame me. I'm a bad guy. Yes. Quiet. I don't actually believe in mind reading. Or do I? No, listen, if you don't want someone to read your mind, just do what I do. Wear a tinfoil hat. <laughs> read your mind, they can just see you're crazy. <laughs> oh, what am I saying? What am I saying? You're watching this show. You're probably already wearing a tinfoil hat. I, no way. I also, I don't just wear a tinfoil hat. I wear tinfoil underwear. <laughs> I do. Yeah. It's nothing to do with mind reading. It just keeps everything fresh. <laughs> Enjoyed yourself, but I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> anyway, no, listen. I know, I know. Really, try and be more professional. You stop. <laughs> <laughs> so I was having an argument with my invisible sidekick, who said, "Try and be more professional." I'm like, "Oh, really? How professional is it to be invisible on TV?" <laughs> One to the new American. <laughs> no, I, I wish I could read people's minds. Remember that movie, What Women Want, where Mel Gibson played a guy who reads the minds of the women all around him? Partly what women want is an anti-Semitic drunken maniac. <laughs> That's right, no, it was me. No, no, please, uh, spare your one minute, 27 seconds. Of Actually, we have to take a break now because of that one. We could have, I could have kept going with more of this crap. <laughs> I'll go and see how my metronome's doing. I'll be right back. <laughs> and now, celebrities read excerpts from Craig's book. I felt it was hypocritical to have rules given when we were on heroin. <laughs> But I guess even junkies have their conventions. <laughs> I never shot smack, thank God. Just snorted the fumes from a burning line laid out on some tinfoil. A procedure known as chasing the dragon. <laughs> In the ridiculously melodramatic vernacular of opiate lovers. <laughs> Even recovered junkies often refer to themselves as dope fiends. <laughs> as if using heroin made you scarier and more out there than a blackout drunk. <laughs> Addicts can be very competitive about their wretchedness. That was Celebrities Read Excerpts from Craig's book. American On Purpose is now available at all finer bookstores. If you experience an erection lasting longer than four hours, please call a doctor or Craig Ferguson. Da -da -do -do. Welcome back, everybody. We're celebrating my tattoos tonight on the show. <laughs> the network is very excited. <laughs> We've got the only tattooed guy in late night! <laughs> what they're trying to encourage me to do is get the spider web on the neck. <laughs> I, I can't do that, though. I can't get the spider on the web on the neck. Nothing says, I don't want this job. Like... <laughs> I mean, 
<laughs> like, if I come in here with a spider web tattoo on the neck, you'll be like, well, that was that. <laughs> See what Fallon's doing. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, uh, do we have time for emails? Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is from Sally in Madison, Wisconsin. Sally says, hi, Craig, I'm 67. Uh, I'm 67 and I'm about to smoke marijuana for the first time. <laughs> Do you have any tips for me? I'm not condoning any of that kind of behavior. I, sure, what the heck do you take me for? Get plenty of cereal. <laughs> Um, this is from Lynn in Oceanside, California. Oceanside? Oh, it's nice, Oceanside. It's got a nice little uh, airport. Well, it's not really an airport. It's got a little runway on the beach there. You can land a plane there if you have a plane small enough to land there. <laughs> You're welcome, Oceanside Tourist Board. <laughs> anyway, uh, Lynn says, Dear Craig, my husband says you shouldn't name a dog after a close friend. What do you say? Well, I don't know. I had a very good friend I grew up with, a guy called Rover. Um, <laughs> um, I don't, I don't know, it depends, I mean, shh, I don't care. Um, <laughs> uh, when I try and throw it away and it comes back, that's the rule, you got it. All right, this is from John in Wausau, Wisconsin. Dear Craig, my wonderful fiancé and I live in the California Bay Area. Get on with it! <laughs> and we're getting married in Wausau, Wisconsin, on October the 10th, 2009. We need someone to marry us. Interested in the job? We think your accent will be quite exotic in Wisconsin. They have deep-fried che deep cheese curds. Yummy. <laughs> You know, I, I was going to come and officiate your wedding. Two reasons why I can't. One, I legally can't do that. It's not like I'm a ship's captain or something like that. I'm a talk show host. I'm a late night guy. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a middle-aged white man in the middle of the night going, hey, I'm funny. <laughs> that doesn't allow you to officiate at weddings, except in Nevada. And... <laughs> The second reason is, your email was so damn long, I don't have time to come to Wisconsin. <laughs> this is from Carla in Peru, Indiana. <laughs> Carla says, are candied apples healthy? Well, first of all, thank you, Carla, for a concise email. <laughs> are candied apples healthy? Parts of them are. <laughs> This is from Ian in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I've been there. Whoa. It's like... <laughs> Edmonton is Canada's Reno. <laughs> Am I lying? <laughs> Am I lying? <laughs> and that's a compliment to both Edmonton and Reno. <laughs> Do I look like a metronome when I do that? <laughs> Here's me potty gold. Uh, Ian says, hey, Craig, during Letterman's show, the band entertains the audience during commercials. Since you don't have a band, what happens during the commercials at the Late Late Show? Usually everybody uh, gets, you know, we have a look at our tattoos. Um, <laughs> we have a professional warm-up comedian here. Uh, he doesn't do much. <laughs> happens what actually happens is this that the, the audience listens to music and and uh, you know chunky the warm-up guy he gets them to clap along with the music so and they're like oh god do we have to and uh, and so they're like it's like diddly, 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 and they're all going uh, <laughs> so they all think it's like oh we're just clapping along but the perspective i get from it is i'm looking at them and they're all going eh, 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 eh. It's like I'm being approached by musical zombies.
And the thing is, when you're approached by musical zombies, you don't know what they're going to do when they get you. <laughs> Join us, all right, I will! No, 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 please, no. Please, don't. Don't, no. I've lost control. <laughs> Actually, I lost control by saying, yes, I'll take the job in late-night television, but... Actually, you know, now everybody knows that we really don't have an audience machine. It really is real people. <laughs> what you gonna talk about now, bloggers? <laughs> we'll be right back. Back, everybody. Oh, oh, I ruined the whole effect there. I was trying to be all tough and cool, and then I went, oh, Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> My first guest tonight is a fantastically big, huge star. He stars in Bored to Death on Sundays on uh, the HBO. It's not television, it's HBO. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at this. Whoa, 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 what? I told you months ago that if we were going to make this work, you had to stop drinking and smoking pot, and you didn't. That was our deal. It's dangerous to go cold turkey. I'm down to white wine, and I can't help it. All right, I, st I still like the way pot makes me think. May maybe it's healthy. Pot is not healthy. They give it to cancer patients. You don't have cancer. Not yet. <laughs> Please welcome Jason Schwartzman, everybody. Jason Schwartzman. See, we don't need that. All right, okay. we don't need it. Okay. Welcome, Hello? Jason. Jason, it's been such a long time since you were yes. here. I, I'm actually, I'm, I'm excited you're here, but I'm a little bit cross you haven't been here for a while. You're upset with me. A little bit. Not much, not hugely upset. I've got tattoos, they're making me cranky. Oh, I know, they made you, it makes you hurt. It does. You're do, a, do you have any tattoos? No, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm tattoo-less. Is that right, tattoo-less? Uh, tattoo yeah, I think that's, what, what do we call them, Ashley? Just the jerks. Yeah. <laughs> I, it's not like, I wish I could have some. Well, my, why can't you? My, my mom. My mom said I'm not allowed to have any. I mean, not, I mean, it's not like a, I mean, I'm sure I could do it. I'm a man, I'm an adult. But, um, I but think your mom says no. She so really, right really there. would upset her. She's very against them and uh, motorcycles. Yeah. Yeah, those are the two things that... Well, you want to get a tattoo of a motorcycle, son. That's oh, what my you God. Need. That'd be a slap in the face. No, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, that's... Not... Now, the last time you were here, you were just about to go to India. Yes, You went to India to make a film. Yes, I did. How was it? It was incredible. I really? Had... Have you ever been there before? No, no, I haven't. I've been very close to India. How close? <laughs> that's... Detroit. Ah. No, no, no. I, I actually, I've been to Sri Lanka, which oh, is right. very close yeah, to India. Yeah. It's, a, just, it's an island off the coast. It's kind of like India's uh, Hawaii. Oh. I... <laughs> <laughs> well, India is an incredible... You should go. It's incredible. The... I, I probably will after this show. We, we could go together. Do you want to go to India? I would together? go with you to India if you really? want to. Yes, yeah. and that's a promise. I would go with you. You are our witnesses. <laughs> I will go to India with you. You're creeping me out, man. Um, uh, yeah. oh, no, no, no. Just no, no, no. Let's go. To, where would we go to in India then? Where would we go? Yeah. Well, we would uh, we would fly to New Delhi. Right. Yeah. Uh, we would have some wonderful food when we landed. Uh, we would have breakfast together. The, um, <laughs> we would. Uh, what the hell happened to you, man? We would. I don't know. I'm a different guy. Yeah, you're a different I'm guy. Stuff happens I'm to you in India. I'm full of love. I'm full you of are love. full of love. I'm full of love. It's almost like did you, you met the Maharishi and you just kind of uh, opened up to the possibilities of the universe. The place is one. The place does open up your heart. I will say it's a great right. place. It yeah. is a great place. But do I miss you. I, do, I don't mean to. I do miss you. I'm looking at you. I miss you. And honestly, <laughs> what, could I, what could I have done differently to have been here sooner? Well, you have to ask yourself that question, Jason, because I have been here every night. And you, you know, I've been here struggling with, you know, bad lighting and dodgy material for three years. And 
And, you know, and now you come back like nothing ever happened? Well, I'm sorry. Sorry. Let's not have this in front of, the, in front of them. Let's not get mad. <laughs> Right. But hey, I, 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 did you, didn't you get married, though? Did you I get did. married in India? No, no, no. I got married in uh, Studio City. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> you got married, too. Yes, I did, but I've been... Thanks very much indeed. Yeah. Do, 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 oh, yeah. Oh, mine's, wow. has got, mine's has got the GPS in it. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I, know, I know what you're referring to. Yeah, and it has the electric shock that goes off. Yeah. It's and like then a... stripper cam. Yeah. <laughs> Yours is, uh, yeah, yours is really beautiful. Yeah. You want to put mine on? No. <laughs> I don't think... I'm, I'm, trying, I'm overwhelmed with love for you, and I'm no, trying in any way that I can. I'm overwhelmed with love okay, for you, too, okay, but good. I don't want to put on your stuff. Okay. You okay, know, okay I, maybe that's I, that. I'd, like be, I'd be like wearing another man's pants. <laughs> wanna? No. I, 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 <laughs> okay. No, no, I, right. it's, it's, it's my dream I could fit All in your right. pants. My dream. Well, you can fit in these things. No, I can't. Yeah, you can. No, Are they the special, the baggy ones that yeah, the kids enjoy? Yeah, I can't wear them too tight. Oh, really? No, no, no. I've, I don't, I've got dude, an enormous fat ass, though. I really oh. am. I have a team of makeup people shading it Come on, before I you go. You look great. You I'm work... all right. I'm all right. No, tell okay. me about your lovely wife. Where is she from? India, you say? No, no, no. Oh, uh, okay. Studio uh, City. Well, she's, for, she's actually from Alabama. I've been there. It's very nice. Really? What part yeah. of Alabama? Uh, just outside of Mobile. Never been there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, she, yeah, she's a... So she's Southern, I'm, then. I'm That's a, good. I'm a lucky man. She's Southern, yeah. Yeah, very polite. Very polite. Sexy and flirtatious. All of the above. Right, that's, yeah. that's good. You'll meet her. Not now. I mean, you'll meet her later, maybe. Yeah, sure. You want when, to. when we go to India, she'll probably want to come. Yeah, oh, she'll yeah. come with us. Yeah, she'll come with us. Now... <laughs> <laughs> what, yeah. what, 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 how did you meet your wife? How did that come about? How did I meet her? Yeah. Um, all right. You want to hear the story about how I'm... All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hey, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. I asked the question. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, sh uh, this is a very odd story. Is it embarrassing? Um, parts of it are quite embarrassing. Parts Can you go straight to those bits? <laughs> yeah. um, well, basically, this, 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 I went, uh, she used to, at the time, um, uh, man she was uh, managed, uh, ran these um, great stores here in Los Angeles. Uh, well, there's one in L.A. and one in New York. She was managing both of them, and she had... What kind of store? A, a, a clothing store. Right, a, a okay. Special, uh, speciality clothing? Uh, uh, beautiful vintage clothing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Perfectly respectable yeah, yeah, yeah. profession. Right, And, yeah. um, and uh, anyway, I actually... Wait a minute. What are you going into? You met her in the store? Well, what happened was, I, I, I feel bad, that, but I, I was going out with a, another person. That's all right. Yeah, that's okay. all right. Yeah. And um and uh, anyways, um and that person's a great person if she's watch if she's watching. Um and I and I I miss, I miss you I miss you too. And uh <laughs> but uh no uh, yeah. You don't miss her too. <laughs> no, I just you, you got know, married I, to someone else. I do, but I do, you know you never want to I don't yes, want yes, to yeah, do, yeah, uh, I want to do the right thing. Yes, of course. So anyways, uh, your so, wife's uh, going to love that. Yeah. Yeah. Um there's that's a there's a cobra mug. A rattlesnake mug right there. That's yeah, don't worry about that. It's okay. always there. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, basically, um, I, my ex-girlfriend's sister was getting married in Texas, uh -huh. and I had this idea that I would dress up for the occasion, that I would wear something uh, like a light blue suit with some special shoes, something more like a classic, uh, yeah. almost southern wedding type garment. I don't know. I had it in my mind. I couldn't find this anywhere. Right. So I called my ex-girlfriend's. Uh, dear friend, and asked her, I said, I'm trying to find a pale blue or seersucker suit that would fit me and work out for this wedding. You know, this we, should be a movie, this okay. story. Well, yeah. here's what happened. So then she said, go, she said, go to this store yeah. uh, and uh, ask for the manager, and she will help you. And, and this person used to work for uh, my now wife. She uh -huh. used to work at the store. So she'd right. go there and ask for her, and I thought, oh, my God, because... I don't want to go in a store and ask for a manager and have like some girl maybe be mean to me or I don't know how these people are, you know. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's a really, you know, the nice clothing store and I don't look. So I, um, so I went to the clothing store and it's there's nothing really particularly funny about this other than I got 
married to her, um, which isn't funny, but um, it's incredible. But um, basically, I, I walked in the store. There was a girl behind the counter with a very angular haircut. And John was, and Kate plus eight. Her. It was it her? Was, it wasn't. It wasn't no. it was. But I went, in, I went in and I asked if this was the girl. She said no. She was in the back. And, and the girl was like, can I help you? She gave me some attitude. I was uh, like, you know, you know. Yeah. Anyway, I started looking around for a pale blue suit. And then it was a tap on my shoulder. And I, this woman said, can I help you? And I turned around and I looked at this woman. And I did think to myself, oh, you're exactly um, who I've been waiting for. Oh, that's the... Yeah. You know, so that, that's the story. I mean, there's no... no what a beautiful <laughs> story, isn't that? Yeah. Now, I have to say... Yeah, that's... I mean, there's nothing crazy that's, about it. That's one of the longer... <laughs> yeah. Well, do you want to hear... Stories. You want to hear... They, then I, it gets I can't hear anything else. We're done. Okay, okay, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. No, no, we're, it's, it's commercial okay, time, so, oh, Jason. It's, no, no, absolutely. But... Okay. I think we owe it to the good folks at HBO to mention the name of the yes. show. Yes, okay. I'm in a show that's gonna that's on Sunday nights called uh, Bored to Death. Bored to Death! Jason Schwartz! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, my friends, to Psychic Night, where <laughs> things are... Uh, Pretty much the same as every other night. <laughs> but I did that. That's good, isn't it? <laughs> Do you ever watch those, like, softcore porn things on Cinemax where it's like, there's no real porn, it's just women with, like, shoes going by their faces? <laughs> like, what is, this is just silly. I like it. Um, I never watched those things I just mentioned. <laughs> My next guest, a very beautiful actress, she stars in The Office, which is on Thursday nights on NBC. <laughs> Take a look at this. Now, what we've decided is... <laughs> so true. Angela Kinsey, everybody, Angela Kinsey. Wow, you look very nice. You're very glamorous Thank dressed you. in your lovely shoes. Is, is it I don't too touch, long to the ground? I you? don't touch the floor. Hold on, I got this thing here. <laughs> Do you really? Yeah, oh we my. keep it in case Tom Cruise is ever on. Oh, yeah. my God! <laughs> well, thank you, Tom. Yeah, um, <laughs> he's, uh, he's one of the metronomes, I believe, Tom Cruise. Yeah, he's, yeah. 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 He hey, how, how, how are you? You look fantastic, because the last time you were here, you, uh, you were just about to have your baby. I was. You did a very funny thing when I came out, because... Uh, let me do it again, then. <laughs> sometimes I get a little nervous, and I was like, oh, there's Craig, and I just started running towards you, and you were like, eh, I can't do an accent at all, but you were like, don't run, woman, <laughs> you're pregnant. <laughs> and then, I, that's horrible. That was but... exactly like me. I was like... <laughs> Am I but here? It was so sweet. Like, you were looking out I, for me. Well, I didn't want you to run. You were pregnant. You shouldn't, be, you shouldn't be running around. I don't but know you're not why. pregnant now, so you can run around. I can run around and go like. crazy, yeah. yeah. How is, it, how is, it, is it a daughter you have? Yes. Oh, how lovely. What's her name? Isabel. That's nice. Thank you. Yeah, that's lovely. Mm -hmm. Is she, uh, she well-behaved? Is she, uh, Or has she got tattoos and <laughs> rides around in <laughs> motorcycles? She really wants to get some tats. She, she uses the lingo. Yeah. No, <laughs> that's the lingo, yeah, all right? Yeah. Tats. I see Tats. you've been around yeah, us types I'm, before. I have, I have street cred. Um, go blondie. Yeah. No, but um, she does this cute thing where she's sort of like really casual with me. Like I'll be like, "Hey, Isabel, you want a bottle?" And she goes, "Yep." <laughs> yep. That's good. She's like way hipper than I am already. That's very good. Mm -hmm. She's yeah. gonna wear that low rider diaper totally. thing going on. <laughs> <laughs> Little chain to yeah, her wallet. Yeah, that's right. You have to hold on to the key. Mm -hmm. hey, hey, what's up, mom? What's up, yeah. mom? Yeah. Nice. She's pretty cool. Are you getting any sleep yet? Not so much. No, you know, no. sometimes I do. I'm a wimp. I can't. Like she cries a little bit, and I'm like, hey, baby. No, that's no, that's not a wimp. That's a mom. Yeah. Okay. No, that's, good. Yeah, that's okay. nice to do that. Yeah. See that whole thing of helping your baby. Is that a good thing? That's a good thing. Okay. You know, what would be bad if you were like, yeah, kids crying, what's on TV? Whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I yeah. love it. I smoke more invisible cigarettes. That's what <laughs> I want. When I, when I did sketch comedy, that was like my always my go-to. When I play someone tough, I'd be like, what's going on? Hey, what's going up, lefty? Yeah. yeah. Do you ever smoke cigarettes? No. I, I did. Didn't. You did? Yeah. Like yeah. a bunch? Uh, about, <laughs> about, I guess about, I, about 15. About 15. And then you're like, I'm done. I'm done with those, yeah. 
Yeah. My sister smoked those. Uh, uh, we grew up in Indonesia, and she smoked those. What like, the heck? I know. I you know. just what? You dropped that? Oh, well, I know. You grew up in Indonesia. I'm like talking where? about my kid, boring. Yeah, but well, Indonesia. I know. I know. The, where are the furniture's from? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Do you know once? I once ordered some furniture and it came from Indonesia and it, the box and it arrived in the house and this is before I had, you know, a fleet of servants. <laughs> and I... I opened the box and I take out the teak furniture and I'm not kidding a cockroach about the size oh, of a yeah. Volkswagen bump gets out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, it's from Indonesia! <laughs> yeah, and it was like, hey... And it was like, hey, how you doing? doing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, they're, they're insane. And they can fly, the cockroaches there. Really? Yeah. I, they're Why scary. haven't they come over here? I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> to seek their fame and fortune. Exactly. Yeah, I want to do a movie. It's yeah. about a cockroach. I got a deal. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Free picture um, deal. But yeah, so what were we talking about? I grew up in Indonesia. You grew up in Indonesia, yeah, with the uh, flying yeah. cockroaches. And my sister smoked, Tina, <laughs> smoked um, <laughs> these cigarettes called, uh, they were like clove cigarettes. Yes. So they smell funny. Yes, but they help your teeth if they're sore. <laughs> they, do they really? No, I made that up. <laughs> I still believed you. No, it was, well, it was kind of like a barefaced lie. Well, you know. you, yeah. Uh. But no, she was smoking them one time in some airport in San Francisco, and they were like... Let's get her. She's got some of that stuff. Oh, you mean the the, uh, the wacky tobacco? That's right. Yeah. That's what the kids call it. The sweet Mary Jane. The yeah. tat kids, yeah. yeah. But um, the they were Oingo weren't. Boingo. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that was. The wacky so, yeah. Mala yeah, I don't know yeah. what I meant. Yeah. But yeah, so... She got I arrested? No, but they, you know, she got a little stern talking to or something. Yeah, it's San Francisco. You yeah. like see someone smoking marijuana, <laughs> like, phew, it's like a breath of fresh air. I know. <laughs> I never really smoked the cigarettes because right. I think like I was always scared someone was going to pull me aside. Yeah, well, has anyone pulled you aside when you weren't smoking a cigarette? Uh huh. Really? To say what? Um. Well, I fidget sometimes. Right. Yeah, uh -huh. I do. And yeah. um, so someone's. I've, I've had someone pull me aside. Mm -hmm. Don't fidget. I had a teacher one time yell at me like, "Must you fidget so?" She had like a ruler. In, in, in Indonesia? Indonesia? Uh -huh. And she had that accent in Indonesia? Yes. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm not a singer with accents. I'm on a roll tonight. <laughs> I thought Indonesian accent was, hey, now put that down, <laughs> whatever it's say. That's not it? That's not it. That's not it. But that, it? That's a good one. Yeah. Um, no, uh, it's, it, my, she was from um, South Africa. My oh, teacher. that's a very tough accent. I Shoot it like this. Yeah, <laughs> I can't do it at all. Oh, it's awful. It's like, oh, look, knitwear. Right. Yeah. <laughs> very odd it's accent. very odd. Yeah. But yeah, she came after me, so yeah. So you're all right now. You made it to America and freedom. I made it. I made yeah, it to America yeah. and freedom. My parents yeah. have a farm. It's all good. Oh, that's great. Where's the farm? Texas. Oh, I like Texas. Mm -hmm. People are polite in Texas. They are. I know. They don't, like, flip you off on the road. No, because you know why. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. Armed society is a polite oh. society, my friend. Hey, we're out. We're out of time. Okay. Uh, but it's lovely to see you. So will you come nice back and see us again? I will. Absolutely. And you can bring your daughter if you wanted. Although oh. that may be a bit kind of weird. Well, she'll tear the place apart. Yeah, she'll be yeah. Like, Craig, ah. I thought she'd be more like. Hey, <laughs> Angela Kinsey, everybody. We were right back. If you're watching Craig at home, you're missing half the fun. Consider this your formal invitation to laugh live in our studio audience at a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Please give us a call at 213-833-6469 or visit our website at cbs.com. What did we learn on the show today?